Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kat Methan. This is another stretchy flow in our Wake Up Well series. No worries if you're not doing it in the series, but just know that there are five practices all 30 minutes that you can be doing as part of the Wake Up Well series. And this is all to help promote my Soul Sanctuary membership, which I will tell you more about at the end. So this morning's practice, or whenever you're doing this practice, is gonna be a kind of like a twisty, stretchy flow. So opening up into the torso, maybe creating this really gentle kind of fire. So we tap into the Manipura Chakra, our personal power. Um, by opening into a twist. So even though it's going to be a gentle flow, you might start to feel that heat rising anyway. Um, so we're going to get straight on into it and we're going to get started in a child's pose. So just taking the knees wide and reach the arms out long in front of you. Close the eyes and melt the forehead down towards the mat. And if your forehead doesn't reach down to the mat, you could maybe rest it on a block or a cushion. And let's just take a few moments to arrive here today. Check in with how you're feeling. So just ask yourself, how do I feel physically? And how do I feel emotionally today? Yeah, not needing to go in depth in those answers, just being aware and observing and making connections. So does your physical feeling connect to your emotional feeling? It doesn't have to, but sometimes we can actually figure out how we're feeling emotionally by looking at how we're feeling physically first. So feeling those hands connected to your mat, just taking a moment to ground, check in with the breath, just softly noticing the inhales and the exhales, and then starting to walk those hands around to the right side and we open up through the left side body. And starting to deepen the breath here. So as you take those nice big inhales and exhales, we really feel the left side body opening. And then stay with that right side and start to walk the hands up and take a twist around to the right. So the left hand comes onto the right knee and we're gazing behind us. So rather than opening out into a side stretch, we're now taking a twist. And then bring yourself all the way back down to that child's pose. Walk the hands through center and take them over to the left as we open through the right side body. And in our practice this morning, we're gonna be taking some slightly longer holds in our postures, especially towards the end. Staying nice and connected with those deep breaths. And then walking the hands up and taking the twist around to the left side. Right hand comes to the outside of the left knee, inhale finding the length and exhale taking the twist a little deeper. In these first few moments of any practice they're just here to allow us to observe and be curious. Unravel, come all the way back to center, come on to hands and knees, inhale lift the chest, exhale round the spine. Inhale, lift, and exhale, round. Open that right arm all the way up to the sky, gazing up. Nice big breaths. Take an inhale here. Exhale, wrap 
that right arm through and just draw it underneath on the exhale. And then inhale, take it up again. Exhale, thread it through. Inhale, open. Exhale, take it through. And then inhale, open. Release that right hand down, reset, take it to the left, inhale, open the left arm up, take a breath here, find that inhale again, and then exhale, thread the arm through. Inhale, up and open, exhale, thread it through, inhale, up and open, exhale, thread it through. Inhale, take it up, and then just place that left hand down. Start to walk the hands towards the front of the mat. You can draw the knees together slightly if that feels good, or you can take them further apart, whatever feels better for your extended puppy pose. So we did this in day one, just allowing the chest to drop down. Trying to stay active though through the course, so you'll see instantly the difference between just being in a released heart opener to being in an activated extension here. I'm going to take the left hand and thread it underneath the right arm, side of the head comes down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Option to take the hands to heart center and just allow that pressure between the hands to give you a little bit more of an opening here. Close your eyes, inhale for one. Exhale, inhale for two, exhale, inhale for three, exhale, inhale for four, exhale, inhale for five, Exhale, now option just to stay here for another breath or so, or see if you can wiggle away that right leg and maybe just hover it off the mat. If you're not feeling for this in the morning, then no worries, and if you roll over, also no worries. Feel into all of those wobbles. Place the knee down, unravel yourself, reach those arms out long, and just melt the chest down towards the mat. And we'll go to the other side, right arm threads underneath the left, side of the head goes down, left arm reaches up, option to stay here or to take the hands to that heart center. Close your eyes, check in with the breath, inhale for one, exhale, inhale for two, exhale. Inhale for three, exhale, inhale for four, exhale, inhale for five, exhale, option to stay here for another breath or two or you can try wiggling away that left foot and seeing if you can hover it off the mat. Just holding here for a breath. And release that leg down, unravel, bring yourself all the way back to that heart opener. Inhale, exhale. Now tuck under the toes, make your way up to a downward facing dog. Take a moment just to pedal out through the feet. Maybe a shake, a nod of the head. Take a few breaths here just to do what your body wants to do. So intuitively, using the observations that you have of your own body to figure out where you want to be in this downward facing dog. Is it still? Is it slow? Is it wiggly? Is it fluid? And then step the right foot between the hands, drop the back knee down, reach the right arm up to the sky. So a modified easy twist. Just holding here. And then in the modified twist, you're gonna take the right hand down, fingertips if you can. You can maybe take them onto a block and then reach the left arm over. Just drop the head. 
So you're getting this little kind of twisty opening through the left side. Breathing here. And then unraveling, frame the foot, step it all the way back to your downward facing dog. Step left foot forward, drop the knee down, untuck the toes, modified easy twist left side. Reach the left arm up, gaze to the sky. And then placing that left hand down and reaching the right arm up and over. And again, we're opening through the right side body this time. And unraveling, place both hands down. Take it all the way back, downward facing dog. Starting to walk those feet towards the hands. Feet hip width apart. You can bend through the knees, ground down through the left hand, reach up the right arm, and you can bend even more through this left knee. And if it feels good to, you could wrap that right arm around and see if you can take hold inside the thigh of the left leg. Gazing up to the sky. And unravel. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches up, either staying here or wrapping that arm around, gazing up to the sky. And release. Pulsate here, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Two more, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale and fold. Engage the glutes, engage the core as you start to lift your weight all the way up to standing, head and neck come last. Just come to stand into dasana, hands down by the side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, right, uh, sorry, left arm goes forwards, right arm goes back, gaze behind you. Inhale, take the arms up, exhale them to the other side. Inhale up, exhale, open twist. Inhale up, exhale, open twist. One more time, inhale up, exhale, open twist. Inhale up. Exhale, open twist. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Exhale, release the hands down. Draw the right knee into the chest and just hug that knee in. Now we're gonna keep the knee bent unless you are desperate to take hold of the foot if you're feeling super open. But as this is just a gentle stretch, let's not push it too far and focus on the twist more than the leg. So take the left hand to the right knee, reach that right arm up, take it over, gaze behind you. You can place the right hand to the sacrum if you wish, if that feels nice to get that lift through the chest. Holding here, feeling into all of those little wobbles. And then bring the chest back to center. I was about to say bring the chair back. Take the right leg all the way back. Place the right hand down. Take your easy twist. You can modify your easy twist like we did before if you wish. So we've got the left foot forwards and we've got the left arm up. And then we're going to open it out for a revolve skandhasana. So pivoting onto the knife edge of both feet, lowering the right hip down. Inhale, sweep that arm up, lift the hips. Exhale, cactus arm, drop the hips. Inhale up. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, release, beautiful. Placing the left hand down, take it all the way back, find your downward facing dog. Take an inhale and release the breath. 
Just taking a moment here. And then step those feet in ever so slightly. You don't need to be super far in, but just so you can take the right hand to the outside of the left foot and gaze underneath the left arm for a little twist. And then placing the right hand down, switch sides, hello. Staying with your breath and release. Starting to walk those feet back in towards the hands and peeling the body all the way up to standing head and neck come last. Take a moment just to ground down in your Tadasana. Grounding down through the right foot this time. We're gonna draw the left knee into the chest. So standing tall, feeling that energy all the way from the floor, grounding into the roots, coming up through the spine, out through the crown of the head. Now keep hold of the left knee with the right arm. Take that left arm all the way up and over. You can either keep it reaching out, gaze behind you, or like we did before, you could take it to the sacrum. The sacrum for me is quite a nice one when I just want to really work on opening through my chest. Holding here. And then slowly unraveling. Now with control, big step back with the left leg. Find that lunge. You might need to shift the feet slightly. Left hand grounds down. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Easy twist. Option to modify with the back knee down if you wish. Gazing up. And then we're gonna open out onto the knife edge of both feet. Find our revolve skandasana. Inhale, reach it up, and then exhale as you drop the hips again, cactus the arm. Inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, lower cactus. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, release. And then taking that right hand down, frame the foot, step it all the way back to a downward facing dog, and then drop those knees all the way down to the mat and come into a seated position. In your seated position, you're gonna keep the knees bent into the chest. You're gonna take the right hand behind you. Inhale, find that left arm reaching up and then see if you can take the left arm over the right knee. Now be mindful that the knees just don't like fall over to the left side. We wanna keep lifting here, creating space through the chest. Inhale here for one, exhale. Inhale for two, exhale. Inhale for three, exhale. Inhale for four, exhale. Inhale for five, Exhale, slowly unravel. You can take a little counter twist if that feels good. I'm gonna go straight to the other side. So left hand comes down, sweep that right arm up, and then the right arm comes by, by the side of the left knee. Inhale, finding that length for one. Exhale, move deeper for two, or for the exhale even. Inhale for two. Exhale. Inhale for three. Exhale. Inhale for four. Exhale. Inhale for five. Exhale, slowly release. Hug the knees into the chest. You can just come to balance on the bottom. Wrap your arms around the knees, lower the forehead down. Just give yourself a big hug.
Okay, from here, we're gonna make our way forwards into pigeon. So let's go uh, left side first, why not? You're gonna take that right knee back. Now, with our pigeon today, hopefully feeling nice and open because we did a lot of pigeon yesterday. So lifting through the chest. Now, depending on where your leg is, you might take a teeny tiny little twist, which is gonna be opening up to the, where that foot is. So your left foot, and you're gonna be reaching over to that side. You could, if you can, take your elbow to the foot, take the hands together, and take a twist here. I really love how this feels. But this is not gonna be accessible for everyone, so you need to find your variation. Like I say, it could just be a little, a little tiny stretch to the side. Maybe you take it from a seated position and you take your stretch like this. So we're actually opening the hips in our pigeon today. Lifting the chest. I love a twisty pigeon. Hopefully you're all gonna fall in love with the twisty pigeon. Staying here, one more breath. And then slowly unraveling. Ground down through the hands, tuck under the toes. Take a big step back, find your way to downward facing dog. Take any movements that you might need in your downward facing dog. And then you're gonna step that right foot through, find your pigeon. And again, find your variation here. So it might not look like mine and that is okay. You just wanna find the variation that works for you. So if you're gonna take the elbow down to the sole of the foot, hands come together, gaze to the sky. I'm gonna take another three breaths here. And then slowly unraveling this time, just bring yourself all the way around to seated. Now, if you have a block, I recommend grabbing it. If not, you could maybe use a bolster or a couple of cushions, or you could just do this little bridge active. So bring yourself down, lowering down onto your mat. And then you can start to lift the hips. We're gonna take a supported bridge. So you can place the block on whatever level you feel to this morning. Close the eyes. Palms of the hands facing upwards. And just allow yourself to be here. Noticing the breath. And if you, like I say, if you haven't got a block, you can just interlace the hands behind the back and you'll just be doing a more active variation of this half bridge. Few more breaths here, keeping those eyes closed. You can pretty much keep your eyes closed now until the end of the practice, so really enjoy that. Although if you're feeling a little sleepy, then maybe keep them open <laughs> so you don't fall asleep. And slowly releasing. Just place that block away from you. Window wipe the knees side to side. We're gonna come into a supine twist and we're gonna hold here for a couple of minutes on each side. So arms out into T-shape or cactus. You're gonna drop the knees over to the left side, head goes over to the right, and take any leg variation that works for you. You don't have to change the legs at all if it's deep enough as it is. It's only if you wish to take it a little deeper. And close the eyes. 
And just allow the breath to nourish the body. Notice the little tiny clonks and clicks as you breathe deeply here. Everything opening up, creating space. Just 30 more seconds here. Gently moving your way out of your twist. And we'll take it straight to the other side. So knees drop over to the right, head goes over to the left and you take any variation with the legs that you need to. <sighs> Keeping those eyes closed. Again, checking in with how the breath can create space in the body. Just feeling yourself surrender to the twist, to the posture. Got just under a minute here now. And then unraveling, hug those knees into the chest. Have a little rock side to side. And really wrap your arms around the knees, draw the forehead towards the knees, a big hug. And release the head down, take another rock side to side. And you're going to start to rock forwards and backwards and come up to a seated position where we're going to take a couple of minutes to just feel into a sense of meditation to finish off with our practice today. 
So sitting up on a bolster or a block if you need to. Taking a big shoulder roll going back. Feel into all the parts of the body connected to your mat. And feel energy rising up and out through the spine, the crown of the head. And take the palms facing upwards on the knees, this gesture of surrender. Surrendering to all of those things that we cannot control. Feeling into a place of acceptance. And placing one hand on top of the other at the heart center. We'll seal our practice together with one releasing breath. Inhale. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Please do check out the Soul Sanctuary if you think that a membership might be for you. I totally understand if it's not, by the way. And I know I keep mentioning it. That's because it, obviously it's my baby. And ultimately, having people that sign up for the Soul Sanctuary membership is what enables me to keep doing free content for you all. So if you love my practices and you want more of it, then please do check it out via the link below and come and join the family and just know that you can cancel at any time so it's 22 pounds a month and you can cancel at any time or if you want to book in or sign up for six months in advance then you get it for just 19 pounds a month so yeah thank you so much for flowing and I will see you again on the mat very soon bye bye